Hello, and welcome back to Satisfactory. In our last episode, we hooked up the stitched iron plates, and as you can see, they are rapidly consuming the wire. That's because they are all taking in the 500 wire that they can store in one slot. So that's going to run for a little while, and then it'll stop, and then we'll be all good to go. Uh, also, we continued a large portion of the bus down here, including... These are just uh, guide belts here, so I can make sure that I, where everything was fitting properly. Because this one won't exist, that'll be where the hypertube goes. Uh, at least in some of the buses. I haven't decided exactly how I'm going to handle that yet. And this will be just an empty space so that I can walk and or drive underneath it if I wanted to drive around up here. Okay, so we hooked up these. Uh, the next thing we need to hook up is the steeled frames. Which are here. They take the reinforced iron plates that we just set up. As well as some steel pipe. So those should be fairly handy. I just remembered that I did not hook these up though. Uh, so I'm just going to take, uh, let's see, actually, this. let me look at the recipe for these. Field frames take 30 pipes and 6 reinforced iron plates. So, what I'm going to do is just hook these up, if I can find the right level. Oh, what level are they on? Pipe. Pipe is on A8. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. And I might as well just go ahead and hook up this as well. And I'm only using the Mark 1 belts for now. Like I think I mentioned last time. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Did I miscount? What does that not look? Oh, I've just crooked. Okay, good. Um, well, what I mentioned the last time was that I was going to um, upgrade the belts as I use more of each product. So kind of as I split off of the bus. That way I don't go too, too fast of belts and I can continue working with what I have. And since these only require 30-ish, whatever it was, um, then that's all I need to do for now. We'll extend this one down. Let's see, there's one, two, three... One, two, three, and it goes there. And then we'll have to split it from here. And then we also need to bring in... Did I mess up? No, I didn't. Okay, good. We also need to bring in these guys. So... Since these are in bus A, I could do a couple of different things. One thing that I actually hadn't thought of until just now... Uh, just as I was getting ready for the episode. And that is, I could actually bring one down the outside and pass it through. Or I can do this kind of thing again, even on the on bus A, which actually might not be a bad idea. So if I did this, then that would mean that there's a splitter... Oh, where are we at? A splitter that goes here on this bus, and a splitter that goes, say, over here on this bus. This one would come down to wherever it needs to go, it turn in, and come across, and that one would come down to wherever it needs to go. And actually, I kind of like that idea. Let's do that idea. And I, of course, didn't adjust my autosave interval again, because why start now? <laughs> okay, so these are both coming from that direction. Two... Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I guess it doesn't matter which one goes where. Let's do it this way, though. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Pipes on eight, reinforces on ten. And I guess I shouldn't have run this belt or this belt. All the way. Go there. I guess I can take these guys all out. Do, do. Do. Goes. That looks level. Now I'm just eyeballing it. 
And so then what I can do is a couple of different things. I could do... Well, these need to come down to three and uh, four at the furthest. Three, four. Four, please. So my thought is this one could come down to level four, which I completely misjudged the output on. Oh, because I put it in the center. But that could come down to there. And then this one could come down to three and make the turn underneath. At least in theory, I like this idea. Turning this one underneath as opposed to turning it above, just for something different to do. Down, down, right there. And this one can come down. There. And I take this and this this and this out. And then these need to be here. Um, yeah. Three. Four. And then you would go over to there. These would come out. And then this one could come up from here. Is this lined up before I start basing it off of this? Yes. Okay. This one could come up from here. That's two and three. And like that. I like that. And of course, I don't like where that pipe is, but or that pipe belt is, but we'll fix that in a moment. So that comes right in there, and that's at the right spot ish. Yeah, that's the right spot. Um, and then this one can go up to three. No, it needs to be on four. I'm not going to bring that belt down any further. Oops, that's not supposed to be there either. is a one. And then this one is one, two, three. Oh no wait, that's all gonna have one more on top of it, doesn't it? You you and you. These all need to come out of here before I get confused. Of course. Yeah, so that needs to come back out and get replaced by a belt going straight in. And then that's going in there. And I'm not putting it straight into there uh, simply because the way that the belts fit on top of the splitters, if you remember from a, several episodes ago, it just doesn't look right. So I'm going to do it like this for that reason. And then these are all... Oopsie. Did I not put... What did I mess up? Oh, that's what I messed up. These are all not lined right. Not aligned right. Litter. How did I manage to do that? Very carefully, I see. Someone, oops, you don't get one. Stop. Hyperactive. Mouse clicks. Zero, one, two, three, four. Zero, zero, one, two, three, four. You go, all of you go, oh, and all of you guys go. That goes there, that goes... Did I mess this one up too? How did I do that? Am I not watching the guidelines, or is there a guideline? I'm just not watching the guidelines. Technically, that one doesn't even need to be there. 
because it's on on level here. So I can go like that. There. 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 And then this goes. Miss. I had it, and then my ma my hand, my mouse hand shook, and I messed it up. All right, and then these guys get power from the front. I should also set the steeled frame. Hopefully, I have the right ingredients in there. <laughs> Already set. Uh, so, on this other one, we put the power right there on the seam, and I think that's still a good plan. Power lines or power poles, I should say. You go there. You go there. Watch your feet there, Wally. You go there. This goes here, there, into there, into there, into there, and then right here on the seam goes this one. Look this power line out and patch this one back in. All right, so you guys have power. You're waiting for pipes to come in very slowly. What if you have some of these? I don't need. Them. I don't think I need more than four stacks of pipe. When I say I don't think I need more than four stacks, I mean I don't need four stacks either. Okay, so this was all uh, three. Yeah, because these are all going to the mall. So my thought is, since they're going to the mall anyway, I might as well just take the round, the number rounded off. And we're making a whole nine of these. So that'll be easy. Two, there, 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 and I don't have any of these anywhere. These are also very slow. And of the whole nine of them, if I can find where it is, there it is. 3.66 are going to the mall. So... This one's the one that I was tempted to add a fourth one to, just because of how slow these machines work. I mean, these are only three per minute. Um, and I could. Uh, of course, that means adding more pipes and adding more reinforced plates, too, so that causes those problems. Uh, but that's the problems with a, a fixed setup of a bus. Okay, so the frames go onto bus B. And I haven't designated what goes where on B at this point. I don't think I have anything on B. So I might as well just put them... Start at the bottom, work my way up. Three, four, five. And two, three, four, five. And then a splitter goes here. Zero. One, two, three, four five and once again I have no idea how many are going in which direction I will just connect like that and then we bring five down to three which is the shortest drop that that can have and then we bring one uh, zero sorry up to and three and then this goes across to there and that should do it. Oops. That looks like it's on it's on three. Excellent. You go away. And there's our first row of probably two assemblers or two assembly cycles uh, worth of each machine. But those will back up eventually. We'll be fine. Okay, so that's bus. Or that's uh, f that's frames. That's that's modular frames. The base frames. Uh, the steeled frame uh, alternate recipe. And so I think the one that makes the most sense next uh, is the heavy encased frames, because those are just going to take. Oh, no, actually, they're not going to make sense next. We need to do the encased industrial pipe first. Because we need those to make the heavy encased frames. Uh, heavy encased frames are made in a manufacturer. So let's just uh, show that. I guess I could have gone through my menu, but 
you know, a heavy encased frame. So we have these, we do not have these, we have these, and we have this. So we need to make the encased industrial beams, which we're going to make with the encased industrial pipe alternate. So that'll be next. Uh, encased is one of the items that goes onto bus A as well. So I guess really I should have put those before. I could have put those before, but who cares? So those go, those come in on or into a a um, assembler. So we need to have the input here offset back one, two for the assembler, and then one for the, and I don't want to put it there, and one for the output. So that's the center coming in this way. So off center would be there, and I think it needs to be one this way. And that is, the line is just inside of the seam. And where's the ladder at? The ladder is just behind the seam. That way I don't have to play the game of guessing. AKA the guessing game. So that would go there. And look, I guessed right. Uh, we need... Case industrial pipe, we need four of these. Go over here. Two, three, and four. And then we'll have two ingredients coming in. Let's look at that recipe. In case industrial pipe is simply pipes and concrete. Okay, that one's there. And then we go... I don't know how high yet, so I'm just going to place these down uh, on the floor here, just so we have the positioning correct, and I can double check myself with the positioning. That goes there. So hopefully I don't mess up and put them in the wrong alignment this time. Look, they're all in a straight line. Yay! Okay. And so, we should have concrete someplace. We also have... This stuff. Uh, the reinforced iron plates for these are... Or sorry, the pipes for these are... Hundred and twelve plus the thirty we already used, so that's a Mark Three belt now. And then uh, the concrete for this is going to be eighty. That's a Mark Two belt of concrete. The concrete is actually coming in right here, so we need to upgrade the pipe from. Here onward to Mark Three. There, there, and there so far. And I think I'll do the same exact hookup as I did there, like the exact same kind of build. Um, the pipes are, are in A, and the concrete is in A. So, uh, well, let's see. The concrete is. Six, so six can come down to four, and then the pipes can come down from eight. Where's pipe on my cheat sheet? Eight all the way down to three. Yeah, I think that'll work. Uh, just for fun, I'm going to hook these up with Mark One belts. Except for that one. Not going to do that one. So, uh, we need to have splitters here. And this will be the um, pipe. No, this will be the concrete coming down. Actually, it doesn't matter. Two, three, four, five... Six should be concrete. And that'll come down to four. And then we'll have right next to it. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That'll be the pipe coming down to three. There. There. Okay, so concrete needs to be a Mark II belt, I think is what we decided. Going into there. And then I will continue it as a Mark I, except we don't have uh, this here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This goes into six. This goes into eight. And then this goes into there. Nice. Okay, so um, concrete is 80 coming into here. So we need a Mark II lift coming from six down to four which is the shortest the lift can go. And then we need a Mark one, Mark two lift for the pipes as well. Okay. And then that is uh, six and five and four and three, if I counted correctly. And if I didn't, I'll get some pipes in my inventory. One, two, three. I miscounted somewhere. Told you I'd miscounted. There. Oh, dang it. No, don't do that. Dang it. I just wasted a inhaler. One, two, three. I forgot I needed to turn this also. Like that. Okay, so the f this one goes into four, so that's uh, three and f no two, three and four, four, wrong one, one two three four, one two three four. I did it again, didn't I? Yes. You guys are going to really be ripping on me in the comments on this one. One, two, three, four. Okay. And these are all marked twos. Two goes to th there. Why does that not look right? Something's not right. One, two, three, four. No, that's right. Let's just be my eyes. Or... No, it's not my eyes. It's my splitter. Doggone it. I messed this whole thing up. The whole thing. Because I centered the splitter... Here instead of putting it off one over here. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. And one, two, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so the concrete was a Mark II, I think. And the pipes were a Mark III. And then we'll do Mark ones after, to six and to eight. And now I have an inventory full of junk. As per usual. Okay. This just this is a simple one. And then for this one I think I'll put down one, two, three. And I think I did the wrong lift there. I sure did. There. Now let's try this again. You go in there. 
And you... Go in there. Nice. Much better, Wally. Much better. Delete. Delete. And this one can go as well. Being the fourth one. Okay, so now we actually need to do some vague math here. These each require 28 pipes and 20 concrete per minute. Wait, why were those both Mark IIs then? Wait, 28 times 4... 56, 112. Okay, that's right. So, these are all Mark Ones going into uh, all, all the machines. That's the easy part. Oopsie. I centered it on the machine instead of centering it on the opening. And then this is a Mark I here. So now the harder part begins. Uh, we'll start with this one. This one takes out 20 concrete. Out of 80. So that's 60. So that's actually not that hard. Mark one. Mark one. Uh, can't afford. No, don't do the wasting of the in, uh, thingies. Thank you. Jump. Jump. Well, it's a good thing they're basically free these this in this time. And I'm not using them for anything other than when I fall. Problem is, I don't want something giant blocking the screen here either. Okay. And then here we have 112 minus 28. That's still a Mark II belt. Uh, the math on that is... 84, I think. And then we subtract again 28. So that puts us at 56. And then, of course, 28. And then we need power. I guess I could have done power or... I think that's the spot I've been putting them in. That one goes there. One here. This one goes there. It's a little different each time, I think, actually. Because the machines aren't centered on anything. They just kind of fit in there. Okay, all of them are hooked up. All of them connected together. And this one goes right there. This one goes away go here, and we go there. Power. Oh, I gotta set a recipe. Uh, this was case industrial pipe. Case industrial pipe. And likewise. All yellow, that's good. That one just went green, 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 and green. And then we just need to have mergers here, taking care of the outputs. No. There. Two. Good thing that thing over there is in the same guideline because that would be annoying. And then we're dealing with 16 total of these. So that's all Mark 1s. And these are going on A11. So I think I can do the lift here again. 
Although I think I want it out here a little bit like the other ones are. Basically centered on the seam. Uh, let me guess. Think I can count this correctly? Probably not. Uh, that's two. Three and four and five. No, I'm not going to count it correctly. I should know better than that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No noises. Oh, there are some noises. But they stop randomly? That's even worse. Or maybe I was at the top and I didn't know it. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna fall. There we go. Do do. There. So we have eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then we have two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then finally, we have letter here zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And of course, you go. Good thing this is about as tall as the bus gets. Because getting in there is a little bit tough. And you go there. And then you come over here. Go there. Oh, and we need a little belt right here. And that should take care of in case industrial pipe. So we're, we have 16 of those. Um, offhand where they go, one comes to the next assembly, which is going to be heavy encased pipe. Or heavy encased frames, sorry. And then the rest of it goes to the mall. So that's easy to handle. Um, and again, I did that because I wanted to have um, enough of these for when I make stuff. So uh, that's, I think, where we're going to end this today, though. That was two assemblies plus a bit more building extension on the mall. And uh, that was pretty good progress. So thank you all for joining me, and I will see you next time. Bye for now.